So uh, to make air travel safer, they looked at the technology they had at the time. They already had direction finding, so we're looking at using that to build on that system and improve it. And they knew that if they had more ground stations, they could actually triangulate an aircraft's position, and they developed a, a wireless position finding service. Uh, we now call that re radio position fixing. But this was a really important step. When an aircraft makes a radio transmission, we can trace the source of that signal. And this could be really, really useful. So if that's picked up on the ground by receiving stations, they can triangulate that position by working with each other and then pass that information back to the pilot. So the way it worked was like this. An aircraft transmitted, the transmission would be picked up by the station at Pullum, which was up in Norfolk, and was the airship station at the time. Also by Croydon, which of course was London's airport, uh, and also Lim, which was the diversion airfield on the Kent coast. So once that transmission was made, we've got the three stations on the ground. They then work together and they pass the information back to Croydon. So Pullen would send that bearing information to Croydon, as would Lim. Croydon would actually then get a chart just like this and plot those positions on there so they can then fix the position of the aircraft. And we can see here that the aircraft is actually just five miles to the east of Boulogne. So that information could then be passed back to the pilot. So this was really, really important for a pilot. If the weather was really poor, he can't see the ground, so his map's not much help to him. But this is using radio navigation uh, in its base form to actually help him get to a destination.